Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we gonna make uh, Ring oscillator using the CMOS inverters So first open your micro bin Select the foundry At 0.8 micrometer uh, Technology Okay Then we need to generate PMOS uh, With The width should be 3.2 micrometer And the length should be 0.8 micrometer Generate, put it up here. Next, for NMOS, we will uh, we'll be using 1.6 micrometer and the length is the same. Uh, put it down here. Correct. Okay, next. We, okay, next we want to flip the inverter, uh, the CMOS and the NMOS using the edit. Flip and rotate, flip horizontally. Okay. Then, using the stretch and move, connect the polysilicon here and also the metal. We also want to extend the metal here, metal one. For the VGD supply and down here for the uh, ground, we need to we need to extend some more for for the feedback letter. Okay. Then using the contact point, met contact metal and poly, put it at the middle of the inverter, at the poly silicon, at the poly silicon yes. Select all. Next, we have to duplicate the element, uh, the inverter, and create four more. Uh, can select like this to ease your work. Okay, we need one more. We need one more. Okay, that's just fine. Okay, next, uh, we want to connect all the end well up here. And we need to delete all the other uh, end well. Then using the uh, stretch, we stretch the left one all the way to the right one. Okay. Make sure to use the DRC to check if there any mistake. Okay. Next, using metal one, we want to connect the inverter. And this is for the feedback. Okay, for right, for for left, like this. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, extend it down. As for the feedback, uh, we cannot use metal one because it will interfere the the connection, the other inverter's connection. Since we want to connect the first and the last inverter, the left and the right one, so we need to use the metal tool. Drag it across like this. Okay, so now there is metal one and metal two. Then we need to connect it using the contact metal and metal two. Just like this. Okay. Now, connect the upper part for the VDD supply and the lower part here for the ground. Okay. Select VDD supply. Make sure it at 5 volt. Also for the end well. And lastly, the ground. Okay. Now we need to put the visible node at the output for each inverter. So there is five inverter. So we will do five visible node for the output. Output one, two, three, and so on. Next. 
make sure to check the DRC and that's it I think we can run the simulation okay here we need to increase the time scale to 5 nanometer So here we can see the oscillator is running at 0 0.68 gigahertz. That's all.